Mac anti Macron protest spread. Ambulance workers join rebellion. Who would have thought that maybe Le Pen might have been a better option? I tried to tell you, France. But anyway, look at the end of the day. Um, look, this is not just about ambulance drivers. Roughly about seventy percent of Paris at the moment has a unfavorable opinion of Macron. Um, so yeah, and this is not just about the fuel excise either. People are trying to make it all about that. It's not. I think, to be honest, it's more about general dissatisfaction regarding what a decent, what a bad job he's doing. People just ha just had a gut full of him. You know, at the end of the day, his approval ratings are terrible. Nobody, well, around seventy percent of the population, is upset with him. I don't know what sort of numbers you need for a poll before they start dragging you out and like lynching you in the middle of the square all time's sake. I'm not encouraging that YouTube. But you know, I'm just I'm just wondering how many, what sort of what sort of numbers do you need before you start getting deposed? Or, you know, people start calling another election. But anyway. More than one hundred years right, one more than one hundred ambulance drivers protested in Paris morning Monday as France's Paris sorry, France's President Emmanuel Macron faces mounting pressure from populist movements inspired by the Yellow Jackets. Paramedics blocked the pa Palace de la Cor Corridor near the National Assembly in downtown Paris at 5.30 a.m. local time, blaring their sirens and holding banners condemning government-mandated industry reforms, reports France Info. Protesters set tires on fire in the street while others chanted Macron resign, According to the Associated Press, I would be fully for supporting of that. I think Le Pen would have done a much better job, and she would have been a lot better for France, too. But France didn't want to get called a racist, so they went with Macron, basically. Um, one protester held a placard reading, The State Killed Me. Uh, in solidarity with the Gilliatt's June Yellow Vests, who have protested a sharp tax rise in fuel every weekend for the past three weeks, some wore high-vis vests. Uh, the protests are against Article 80 of the Macron government's 2017 Social Security budget, which reforms the refinancing of the social security system, affecting how ambulances are paid for their service. Yeah, this, this sounds like it's going to go down like a lead balloon. Uh, Hefwa in France, pr uh, patients decide which ambulance company to use, but the reforms will see hospitals and clinics choosing which service to engage by tenure, paying the cost directly. Smaller ambulance firms fear large companies will fix prices and force them out. The bill will represent to the member of the National Assembly Monday for the final vote. Uh, Jean Francis, an ambulance firm owner who employs 10 other drivers, told Le Fleur, the problem goes well beyond the case of paramedics. There is a general sluggishness. Sluggishness, sorry. It's been 28 years since I started my business. I've not received an increase. So civil action against Macron's reforms have also picked up by the high, high school pupils with the, uh, the Ministry of Education confirming that at least 100 students across France in Marshall Townsend de Cult the French Riviera, and the Cine de Nice have been totally or partially shut down Monday morning by protesting students. The French youths are reported to be mainly protest protesting against the education reforms as well as against high taxes and solidarity with the Yellow Jackets. France 3 reports the police used tear gas outside of the Arena High School in Toulouse with students in the French Riviera calling Macron to resign. A few hundred people uh, mobilised in Ambersville, saint de I'm getting that name wrong, with pupils from Le Men messini Bethlow and Putin, I'm getting that name wrong too, and joining the movement. French media reports the protest in troubled high migrant population Paris suburbs of Senators to be destructive in nature with Marshall being set, sorry, with materials being set on fire in the streets and cars overturned. 
firefighters attempting to intervene were pushed back with projectiles thrown at them. I think you'll find a lot of immigrants who just want to riot, who just want to see Paris burn or France burn, will join this just to be a destructive influence. The civilian, uh, civil, uh, civilian unrest began on November 17th when the Yellow Vest protests across the country against raising fuel costs inspired by Macron's climate change agenda with tax on diesel raising 23%, ho- uh, 23 cents sorry, in just 12 months. Holy dooly, that's a hell of a jump. After the third week of the protests in Paris, Macron met with the government figures uh, on Sunday to discuss how to deal with the expanding protests. A spokesman confirmed that an introduction of state emergency was on the table. He's going to bring in martial law because he's worried he's going to lose his power. You know, if you ever want to watch uh, the left turn authoritarian, refuse to take the... uh, Sorry, uh, try and take their power away. If you ever want the left to become authoritarian, just do that. Just take the power away from them. And you, you soon watch them bring in martial law and everything like that. Prime Minister Edel Phillips has cancelled his appearance at the GOP20 climate change summit in Kunswitz, Poland, in preparation to announce measures to deal with the civil unrest and plans to meet with the spokesman from the Yellow Vest movement on Tuesday. AFP reports that there will be a uh, debate on the situation in the National Assembly on Wednesday and the debate in the upper chamber, the Senate, on Thursday, while Finance Minister Bruno Le Mans is looking to spread, speed up planned tax cuts and cuts to the public spending in response to the riots. However, Macron has maintained that he will not back down from his progressive climate change agenda and fuel duty will rise again in the new year. Because nothing says like you're dedicated to... <laughs> wow, he's, he's literally going to rise prices again. You know, France is currently burning, but, you know, hey, we'll just rise the price of fuel and maybe they won't notice. <laughs> um, look, at the end of the day, guys, obviously, um, I, I suggested that Le Pen be a better chance uh, or better choice than Macron in the French election and I, I don't know I, I don't think she would have done this I think she would have stayed way away from this I think this is more globalist elitist shills uh, pushing this uh, progressive environmental dis- environmentalism and all that sort of stuff I don't think you would have got this off of Le Pen I really really don't and I, I really think that people need to stop worrying about whether they're going to get called a racist because they vote for someone you, you can't sit there and and refuse to vote for someone just because of the backlash against you for doing it, when at the end of the day, it's literally your country that's at stake. Okay? You just... You have to just man up. I, I don't know, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think that at the end of the day, this, this is just, just the beginning? Do you think this protest will keep going? Do you think that Macron will resign? Or do you think he'll back down? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.